This film consists of a series of short vignettes designed to help you get in touch with your own feelings and beliefs and how society fosters these beliefs. Good evening. I'm here to deliver a warning. The film you're about to watch is both extremely long and incredibly dry. If your eyes do water, it will be from yawning and nearly falling asleep, and not from the expression of any genuine emotions. But that's the way they want it. Not the filmmakers, who've slaved away for countless hours behind electronic computing screens. But by those who've written the pages of financial and economic history. Hello, everyone. Hey, everybody. As you know, it's been a f of a year. I <laughs> Wow. Okay. All right. Let's start. Yeah. No, I think that's good. I don't think we should. I think that's what we should tell people. We just got done uploading the first two episodes of 10 plus hours of a series that we actually started working on back in February due to unforeseen circumstances, mostly because I was in such a bad way that I did not want to bring that energy to something we have been working on since 2018 it was a series that was never supposed to be this expansive this long this big etc but it took on a life of its own we went to jackal island back in was it 2017 I, it was at least four years ago it was a while ago and it was going to be a small short we visited this place we're going to talk about it now kind of thing and then it kind of got put on the back burner because we didn't know where we were going with it necessarily or like what it needed something. It was not complete. So it got stuck on the back burner. And then this year happened and everything happened and we saw where this was going and we realized how relevant this was once again. But instead of just slapping that out there and saying the same stuff about it that everyone's already said probably, you know, 50 times, we decided to deep dive in only the way that you and I obsessively can. <laughs> yeah, and, and we tried to put it in context. Many find themselves feeling stupid and inadequate after attempting to follow grown-up discussions about made-up pretend money. And there's a reason for that. Uh, you know, some parallel research we were doing uh, stuff that's related, a little tangential. You know, we were getting into the founding, not only of this country, but of civil liberties, the limited monarchy in England, and realized really that when they shifted over to a constitutional system, although still with a monarch, unlike the American system, they started their central bank, and it directly parallels uh the origins of the United States. It's a chapter of history that certainly doesn't get taught in school. So in essence, they've turned the Second National Bank of America into a museum for enlightenment. The point is, as soon as they had the bank, they had some crises because that is how this works. And the bank that Hamilton set up in that whole system. You said Hamilton. I could sing. I could dance, and I'm down with my homies in high finance. So give me all your debts, and I will make it credit through a strong centralized federal government. So we thought, considering that the entire financial system is on the cusp of a giant shift, it might be really good for everyone to review where we've been so that we can try to think about where this is headed. And that was kind of the interest that started this whole... For their Crocodile Act, inducing would-be victims into a vulnerable stupor is just that, a grand stage show, a pretend display to disguise the simple fact that our monetary system is but fool's gold. I don't even know what words to call it. This, this Basically, it mutated <laughs> into a chronology, a timeline of sorts. But sort of. we didn't have as much information about stuff that was more than a century ago or more than two centuries ago. So it started off kind of quick, and then it got more and more and more detailed. 
And then in the last 10 and 20 years, you know, there's a million things that happen and video clips and news articles for everything. So it was oh, like yeah. target rich. Once once it got past the time of making everything via engravings and oil paintings, it just kind of went inverted pyramid from there. And I kept saying, it's going to be six hours, no seven hours, no eight hours. It's over 10 hours now. So it's some pretty deep insights into how this whole thing has worked. And I feel like it will help people to kind of understand where we're going in the context of where we've been, which is not something they teach you in high school or school at all, really. Not that I can remember. Maybe I was falling asleep. The first bank of the United suck. <sighs> Second bank of... Uh, Second bank of BS. So we've already released the first two episodes on Vimeo. Because as most of you know, for people like us, YouTube is essentially like playing a game of musical chairs in a graveyard. It's uh, not a lot of fun to put up things you poured your heart and soul into and worked very hard on just to have them be black hole buried and never really see the light of day it kind of makes it the anti-platform and who knows what the keyword bots like to find and punish people like us for it seems to be quite a bit so we put this up on vimeo first two episodes are there we're going to be putting up two more every week we would just drop it all at once but there's a limit on how many gigs we can upload per week so and the people can watch at a time right we thought it's so dense and so much information November 16th, 1914 marks the official opening of the U.S. Federal Reserve Bank branches. The opening of the Federal Reserve Banks was actually hailed in the newspapers as America's financial freedom. They probably even had those little pins with the chain, you know, like, I don't know, maybe they did. That it would just be nicer <laughs> to release it a little bit slower so that it, you can actually take time to think about it. Andrew Jackson began beating the would-be assailant with his cane until both the president and would-be assassin were restrained by Senator Davy Crockett. That's where we're fooling ourselves. Versus well, let's be honest, we went ghost dog for a while and people were like, hello, with no <laughs> answer. Like that, and then yeah. all of a sudden we got a huge thing. It's true, yeah. It's going to take time to watch It's going to take people. a minute. We Well, I needed a moment. I think I just needed a moment, you know? You ever just need a moment? You just got to step back and take time. I, it was all I could do to focus on this thing. I needed that space to get that done. And that's the thing about this particular channel. Maybe not every channel, maybe not everybody, but if you ever see us uh, gone for a few weeks, you can bet that we're probably editing. That's probably what's going on. It's probably a lot of editing. This is the most I have personally ever edited in my life. To try and take a topic that I will freely admit is so not my favorite and spend this much time with it was a really interesting process. The promise of gold, the illusion of wealth, and the power of money in hand. Well, it's weird for me because, you know, we put out a project, it's it's crafted in many respects, we edited it, we went through this whole process, but I am not into economics, and there are parts of it that just flat out confuse me. And there's so many other people who've done expert presentations on the Federal Reserve and stuff. What do you mean, worry? They don't have to worry. There they are, a small bunch with a lock on the market. They were smart, they're lucky enough to get big early, and then they stay that way. Their gang hasn't changed for 50 years. That's right. This doesn't contradict that. It just, we try to add more context by instead of following a narrative that's already there, even if it's a good one, we just try to dig into the events and let the events tell the story, which they totally did. I, you know, I learned a ton on I this. I learned so much. Archaeologists found that the original home of the bank had been built on top of the remains of a Roman temple to Mithras. And I'm, I really do think people are going to be fascinated by where the story goes because it's based on the reports of what happened. 
So beware, dear viewers, not to nod off too quickly, or else we may veer off the road we're on much sooner than you think. Yeah. So without further ado. And now, get the scary sound effects and booms ready. Have you ever played <laughs> The Trust Game? Don't do that. Stop doing that. No, don't. Why are you doing that? But let's go to the facts. The Federal Reserve Act is void and unconstitutional. About how the entire gold output of the world was scheduled to come to the United States. Would it not be fair to say that the fellows who wanted the gold were the ones who instigated the meeting? The Great Depression was produced by a failure of the Federal Reserve System. Who is that favored class? The banks and brokers and nobody else. Giving us eternally clues to the issuance and backing, not just of currencies, but of regimes and governments. There's a good old fashioned word for people us. We call them suckers. And there are other people, people who stay up nights figuring out how to take away what they've got. As you see, the top hat is still worn, but today only by a few. We are at a historic turning point. Money as debt is a form of slavery. It's just, it's changed everything. Congress, in essence, has ceded total control of the value of our money to a secretive uh, central bank. I don't hang around trying to read the entrails of what some statement in the administration may say because it's our responsibility to make up our mind about these things. There is no other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. Picture a party of the nation's greatest bankers stealing out of New York on a private railroad car under cover of darkness stealthily hiding hundreds of miles south. The key difference in, with the CBDC is that the central bank will have absolute control and also we will have the technology to enforce that. It was a secret meeting at the time. They told nobody about it. The details came out later. But this is the place where the most important people in the world first came up with the formal plan to create the Federal Reserve. This place is crazy. I have alleged that there is a money trust. Better for the state relative to cash. Hi, welcome to Jekyll Island. To begin, first make a selection at the top. 